Okay, pick it right back up again. There's your post office for St. Helena Island. I hope I caught that. Uh, I don't know why, but on my phone, when I upload to YouTube, if I have more than 10 minutes, it, it'll take like an hour and a half or something. If you know any tricks of the trade to make that speed up, I'm all ears. I know there's got to be a way, but I'm I'm not the most prolific guy when it comes to all that. You've got this nice three-lane highway. The middle lane offers the buffer there. And this is well-maintained because it's going all the way out to Fripp Island, so they do take great care of this. You've got some open land that Buford County has bought. They want to keep a lot of this green. In fact, they're asking for a penny tax in Buford County this year. And someone who's never voted for a tax increase has asked that the people vote for a tax increase, this one penny tax, in order to buy the land, more land to really keep it the way it looks, instead of everything getting completely developed. Uh, Hilton Head's done a really good job on their own in their, their situation there, and now this part of Buford is, is really starting to pick that up and follow that same thing. So, a little thrift shop over there to the left. stuff right there that little building so you get the, the island barbecue but this little place over here is so cool inside it's like an old-fashioned cracker barrel but it's simply with local jams and jellies and smoothies and coffees and pies and treats and, the, and then they got sandwiches there the best chicken salad you'd ever want for a chicken salad sandwich if you like that uh, all kinds of neat stuff real old south feeling and very clean inside, very upscale inside, and people love it. And, and we're closing in now on Ladies Island. So we're leaving St. Helena Island and coming on to Ladies Island, which is more in stream with uh, Buford. Uh, and you'll see that we're gonna get a lot more commercial up here in the next couple miles more gas stations, more of everything. Here's a nice little seafood place. It's there right now. But, uh, Distant Island. I've never been out to Distant Island, but that's a little teeny island out there to the left. It's a little village. And I don't know all the particulars of that. approaching 439 so uh, you'll see people that are knocking off work at four headed back out to St. Helena where they might live here's feed and seed place grooming pet supplies and, uh, granite and tire place so if you want to get some granite or different types of countertops and you're looking at that, you can have your tires fixed. <laughs> but a young entrepreneur owns that, and he's uh, he's doing really well for himself. Got a cool spot. Now, coming up here on the right is Walmart. So it is 440. 440. I don't know if you can see that on there. Yeah, it's somewhere on there. So Walmart over there, a bunch of other little stores. Ryan's Pizza, Liquor, Jersey Mike's. Got another little uh, gas station there, 319 for gas. That may be a little bit lower price than you're used to. <laughs> and this is some type of a processing place.
Taco Bell. And see, now we're really getting more commercial. And we pass over this little marsh area. And you can see how beautiful it is. I mean, it's just, it's hard to drive without looking everywhere. It's so pretty. You can see beautiful birds and sunsets out here. So you have big sky areas and you have beautiful tree areas. And now we're coming up to the, one of the main arteries here. It has a lot like Publix. Um, all your little fast food places, McDonald's. If you want a golf cart, they have a service center there. There's a food line here on the right. Raco Building Products, Subway, you name it. So almost everything you have right around here. And then you go in town a little bit further, you've got all the big box stores. Okay, there's a Wendy's. This intersection here, the 21. And if you go straight ahead, you're gonna go into downtown Buford. Cross over the Buford River right into Old Town Buford, which is absolutely beautiful, right there on the river. They have a lot of activities and events, art shows, exhibits, uh, fairs, little little events there that are quite nice. And I think that should do it. I I want to. I mean, there's a Publix back behind there. You can't see it, but it's there. So you get the idea. Walgreens right there. So you, CVS is over here too. And, got everything else within a mile of where we are right now just about 